just wanted to do a very, very quick update on Soul Strategies proxy that we had discovered here in the channel. And we saw a very impressive 25% pump yesterday. We actually get, it went almost to 160, $1.60 and then corrected down to 135. Quite impressive volumes. We are going vertical. Do not chase the stock at this stage. It's very, very difficult to catch, wait for a pullback and a clear support before getting in this asset. I believe that crypto proxies like MicroStrategy are going to generate a lot of alpha for the investors who find them. Today I found another company that I'm looking into. So I'll share that within the video. So stay tuned after this session on soul strategies. But again, getting early, getting hard on these assets, it's quite important. When, you, especially if you find these companies at very low market caps or market caps that are near the total amount of their assets and that those companies have very or little debt associated with them. If that's the case, then they are undervalued. And after that, we will have to see how they optimize their issuance of shares or getting money in the market with debt to buy more assets. So strategies and in invest in Solana. So how are they going to issue shares or take debt to buy a lot more Solana and continue staking it and generating passive income, things like that. We could have in the next few days, a press release indicating that they issue at X amount of shares and raise quite a bit of money to be deployed in Solana and that will potentially correct the price because it's going to devalue the asset but that will be only temporary and then will resume especially now that Solana is moving up at the same time as Bitcoin so also many users have told me that they have a Bitcoin position yes they do the only thing that I don't know is if they're going to continue buying Bitcoin to be added to the balance sheet or if they're going to sell that Bitcoin and convert it in Solana because now this company is called Soul Strategies. So we'll have to wait and see what strategy they choose to do. But yes, that's another option. So congrats to those who got early from 20 cents to $1.35 in a matter of a few days. Sometimes you catch some of these assets sometimes you don't in that case i was able to catch not a 20 cents a little higher but quite a significant amount of alpha sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but i'm sharing the information for all, you all i hope you enjoy this content due to user umoja 101 thank you today thank you to him i was able to find another crypto proxy in the canadian market that is quite under value. The name of the company is Neptune Digital Assets, thicker NDA in the Venture Exchange in Canada, but also trades on the OTC under the ticker NPPTF. Let's have a look at their assets and why is it under value. So if you go to the latest press release, which is on July 30th, 2024, we have that press release here that indicates what Neptune Digital is. So it's a Canadian proxy. And, and this company ended the quarter on May 31st, 2024 with total assets of 57.9 million. The assets could have grown a little bit now that we're in October of 2024, especially because some of the uh, crypto assets have gone up in value. So let's see the lines that affect our evaluation. So they have a small mining capacity of Bitcoin that at that time generated $2.5 million. They do stake, they do place coins in DeFi. So they have a few lines within the company that generate 
Inca. I don't know if they kept the same Bitcoin mining activity. We will see if they kept it in the future update or if they have cut that mining line in the company because it's quite expensive. It's cash demanding to have even a small mining facility for Bitcoin. So they currently have 345 Bitcoin in cold storage. That equals to $32 million in Canadian currency. They also have quite a few crypto assets. So they have 31,727 Solana. That value is around $7.6 million. Again, all these numbers are Canadian because this company is Canadian. They also have 185,000 Atom and positions in Ethereum, Polkadot, Phantom, Dash, GRT, and Ocean. And peculiarly, they also have an investment that they did a while back in SpaceX with an estimated value of 4.1 million. At that time, May 31st, 2024, they also had $6 million in cash. And this company does not have debt. So I only counted the Bitcoin, Solana, and the SpaceX value assets. And that totaled approximately $43.8 million. And the current market cap of the company is $54.7 million. Again, I have not included everything that the company owns based on this press re uh, release. They say that they have $57.9 million in assets as of May 31st. So it's higher than the market cap of the company currently at $54.7 million. So again, I believe that this company has potential. All the proxies that have crypto assets within their balance sheet will grow up in price because they're going to apply a certain multiple. This has happened already with Soul Strategies beautifully. The stock exploded in the last week. Same thing for MicroStrategy. So we'll have to see what the next press release update with the total value of the company will say, but they are quite conservative with their assets. I actually just mainly include the value of the company with the Bitcoin that they have, the Solana that they have, and the investment in SpaceX that they have, and the cash. All the other assets could go up or down in value, but for me, these are the main ones. We don't know if they still have that Bitcoin small mining part of the business. We will see in the next update. So let's have a look at the chart, but this company in the Canadian market, Neptune Digital Assets, looks like another sole strategy that could explode in price, especially now that Bitcoin is pushing up and Solana also is pushing up. The banana zone is coming and therefore we could have a very important push in prices of these assets. Let's review the charts. So this is the Neptune Digital Assets chart. This is the four hour chart. We'll cover quickly the daily and the weekly. But just yesterday, the coin was up, the stock was up 21% to 43 cents. So the news is starting to spread about Nipton Digital Assets. We see an increase in volume recently. We were going downwards in this channel and now we came up and started to pump. <clears throat> so some people are getting the information that this asset is undervalued or maybe people don't know yet, but we know that it has roughly 50, 45 million, but we know that it has over 57 million in assets as of May 2024. And the current valuation is 54.7 million, even after this pump in price of 21%. So it's still undervalued. It is therefore cheaper than soul strategies at this stage. You see here the chart that we have a resistance coming at 45 cents. If we go beyond that, then we have clear skies for price appreciation for quite a while. The MA200 and the MA50 are turning up to the right 
which means that we have a lot more activity, a lot more buyers, and the price action could explode to the upside any day now. And on the weekly, it looks very, very good. If we get beyond these levels, we could target quickly 60 cents, after that 80 cents, and after that 120, and 120 we would be in price discovery. So that would be already an important gain gains for those who invest early in Netto Digital. We are looking to find these undervalued crypto proxies just before the banana zone so that we can maximize our returns. And these assets are looking great, especially this one that has absolutely no debt and has quite important positions in Bitcoin and Solana and the SpaceX investment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep learning, keep scanning, keep looking. And thank you again to Umoja101 who pointed that asset to me. I initiated buying yesterday a little bit, but I'll continue probably today. Today could be a red day in the market. So it could be a nice opportunity maybe to get cheap shares of Neptune digital assets.